Man, that was right away. First drop. It's big, whatever it is. Today I'm using blue crabs as bait. This is the first time I've ever done this. Oh, you probably already know what we're gonna end up catching with these. So we should catch a wide variety of fish and it should be a pretty fun day of fishing. The area that I'm fishing today is actually one of the fishing spot videos that I made for Patreon members. Uh, if you wanna learn some fishing spots, including the one I'm fishing today, uh, go check out the Patreon link and sign up. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe now. So the setup is a 3000 with 20 pound braid, a toadfish convict rod, and then 20 pounds fluorocarbon leader, probably three foot of it. And then this is a sheep sticker jig. If you're interested in purchasing any of the gear, including the sheep sticker jigs, which I use for all kinds of things. Uh, check the links in the description where you can go buy some. All right, so here's my chunk of blue crab. This is my first time using uh, chunks of blue crab as bait, so I don't know the best way to hook it. And that seems like that's gonna hold pretty well. So I'm just throwing it on the bottom. And when I feel a bite, I'm going to actually give them a couple seconds to eat it. Because it's a bigger bait than I usually fish with around here. And really, I'm basically already got a fish. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's good size though. Man, that was right away. First drop. Black drum or red? I'm gonna find out soon though. Based on that run, I'm going with red. And that run. I have another line out that I'm trolling. I forgot all about it. I'm trying to reel it in. Before it gets tangled. Yeah, this just has to be a red. I'm gonna find out though, cause he's coming. Yep. Man, they, this deep water, they just, they really put up a fight. This is a sign of a really good day though. So my first uh, fish on a blue crab too. There you go, I, just, I think I just made it look way too easy. Uh, I don't know, 25? I mean, for the fight he put up, he doesn't look that big. 24. One inch over slot. Awesome fight, especially when they're in that deep water. They just, they'll just keep running down. All right. First drop, first fish. Let's see if we can keep that up. There he goes. This episode of Buford, South Carolina Fishing is brought to you by the following local businesses.
doesn't run towards the structure, which thankfully he didn't. For now. Now he's turning the other way. Got him up. Whoa. Another red. This one could be slot. There we go. I love the blue crab. Alright, quick measurement and release. Twenty-three and a half. Twenty-three and a half inch red. That's my second redfish ever using blue crabs. Don't forget, if you want to learn about this spot that I'm fishing or a couple of the other spots that I fish, go check out the Patreon. If you sign up, there'll be videos highlighting the fishing spots. I think I remember someone showing in a YouTube video how to uh, cut these up and use them as bait. Start by cutting it in half like this. There's half and then and then cut these halves in half this way. Trim the legs off, and you got some chunks. You can take that shell off. There you go, that's a nice chunk. Not too big, not too small either. Hook it through the shell, stays on the hook really well. See what we can get. This is smaller, maybe a bit weird. Yeah, it's a black drum. Oh, I bet that's a keeper. Definitely a bit differently than a red, so I was kind of confused for a second. Oh, no doubt that that's a deeper black drum. My first black drum on blue crab. Quick measurement and release. Yeah, they only gotta be 14. He's 16 and a half, you can hear him drumming. This one's fighting weird. I hope it's not a giant toadfish. No, it's way too big for that. It wasn't fighting at first. I don't know why it's fighting now. It's big, whatever it is. Wow. curious to see what this is. If I had to take a guess, I'd say just a big red. But it, I hope it fought so weird at first. I almost 
got it up. And then it starts going back. Oh, there it is. I didn't see, I mean, I saw it looked like kind of a red, but I haven't seen it good enough yet. Man, it's heavy. That's all I know. How did I not see it yet? Is this a sting? There's no way it's a sting. No, it's a red. It's a big red. Definitely the biggest of the day. Oh, he still doesn't want to give up yet. Oh, he's coming now, maybe. He's over slot for sure. Oh my god. That's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Wow, that's a long fish too. Very interested in getting this measurement. Got hooked real good by this jig. Still in the corner of the mouth too. If I have to take a guess, I mean he's pushing 30. Yep, 29 and a half. Awesome. That's a 29 and a half inch redfish on a chunk of blue crab. My biggest so far on blue crab, biggest of the day. Real fun fight. It's a really heavy fish too. I'm gonna let him go. There he goes. I started a View for SC Fishing Facebook group. I'll be writing exclusive same day fishing reports. I'll be sharing all kinds of information and you can go on there. You can write your own fishing reports and ask questions or answer questions. So if you wanna join, uh, go down to the description and you'll find the link to join that. So today was actually a really good day. Tried something different, used blue crabs, which I always heard they're really good bait for redfish. And they definitely were. Caught a red on the first drop. And then I think I caught two or three more, along with a black drum, a few toad fish, and then I ran out of bait. So it was a fun day. I mean, even that smallest red put up a really good fight. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. That really helps me out. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.